Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. How does, how does it feel for you to know that you've inspired over 50,000 people? You know, honestly, man, I think sometimes, and I think this, this goes to any, any, any group of people. So, for instance, we'll never see the true impact or true extension of our impact, right? There are people you've spoken to. There are people that listen to this podcast that you may, ne- may not ever meet, may not ever listen to, ever speak to. I mean, I ever crossed paths with, but it could have been something you said, did, posted, and made their day better. And so I, I don't think we'll ever know the true extension of our impact. And so that's kind of a rough estimate based on how many you know, rooms and people I've spoken to. But the impact, I hope, is much greater than that. I mean, I hope the impact is 3x, 4x, 10x, right? You know, press down, shaking together and running over. You know what I mean? That's, that's the hope is that it's far greater than that because... If it only went from my mouth to their ears and it stopped, then I don't know if it was good enough to really for them to actually want to share it and to keep it keep it moving. Because when you share something that you both you, both of you all receive something, you and you receive something in consciousness because you are beginning to embody that thing to where you can regurgitate it and say it more and you begin to be and become that thing. Right. And when you're sharing with the other person, they're now being introduced to it. And so they begin to embody it, embrace it, you know, and 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 learn it, and and be able to pass it on as well. And that's what I, I hope it has been. I hope it's been far greater than that. But it is a great responsibility that I don't take lightly, and that's why I take the preparation and the execution very seriously. And you know, it's one of those things where I, I was talking to some friends last night. It's not just we get up and just start talking, right? The the I read over a hundred books on people and how to how to study people and body language and how to how to how to connect with people and understanding the difference between you know different audiences in your audience you don't really get a full survey or full kind of report of how they learn and so you have to make sure you have different elements within your presentation to address their learning preferences so for instance you have some people that are auditory learners some that are visual learners and some that are kinesthetic learners Right. And so I try to cluster the major concepts and themes I have in my presentations to 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 really reach each learning style, because they may have missed the visual part of it. They may not have connected on the auditory side of it, but the kinesthetic application of it, that may be what what, what really grabbed them. And so I have to make sure that as a speaker, as a presenter, as a public servant, that I'm not just communicating how I want to communicate but I'm basically communicating in a way they want to receive the information. And that's the, that's the major difference between someone that gets up and talks and an actual presenter. Because I think speakers and presenters are different, right? Everyone has the ability to speak. You can get up there and throw a slide deck and start talking. But presenters have a way of, of crafting a message that will inspire action in a way that is seamlessly integrated into the, the human experience. Right. And so you have to be able to do that to be able to present and be able to leave a lasting impact because, you know, you could have someone you can give someone your whole slide deck tomorrow. They're not going to do it like you do it. Right. Same thing with myself and same thing with anyone else that has a special craft that's particular to them or their intellectual property. Right. My dad used to always say, he said, son, I've forgotten more than you ever know. And so that's kind of, you know, what I like to do in terms of, you know, how I go about my craft, how I prepare how I study and how I, I learn and and how I continue to try to get better with every single talk. Mm-hmm.